Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we discover a unique region of Europe. It has a rich history, amazing nature and picturesque mountains. South Tyrol in Italy. Before starting the actual travel video I want to return to books and tell you very shortly about the history of this region. According to the 2011 census, more than 62% of the population of South Tyrol used German as their first language. South Tyrol today belongs to Italy. So what happened in that area of northern Italy and why is it German speaking? Until 1918 these lands were part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but this almost completely German-speaking territory was occupied by Italy at the end of the war in November 1918. South Tyrol was annexed to the Kingdom of Italy in 1919. Until today, the imposing Victory Monument stands tall, symbolizing the region's endurance through Italian occupation. You may visit the museum located under the monument with free entry. Since First World War, the status of South Tyrol hasn't changed and this territory still belongs to Italy. There were really hard times for this area. Italian fascism forced the Italianization of South Tyrol. German language was banished from public service. German teaching was officially forbidden. To understand better the history of South Tyrol, I recommend you visit the Bus Museum in Bozen, which tells about the separatist movements that existed after the end of World War II. Many separatist movements, including Bus, Befreiungsausschuss zu Tyrol were very radical. This radicalism appeared after almost all leading members of the organization were imprisoned and as a result the movement had more and more radical attitudes as peaceful struggle didn't work. They started to commit terrorist acts which killed people. South Tyrol never gained its independence from Italy. But what is important, it gained the recognition of the rights of German-speaking people and gained autonomy. Thanks to the Schengen Agreement, the border between Austria and Italy became invisible and the area coexists peacefully with the rest of Italy. Today, the autonomy of the Tyrol stands as a testament of the region's unique cultural and political identity. The Tyroler Landtag represents the self-governance of this area. In Zutirol there are from two to four names of each city and street. In this video I will use mainly German names, but I have to say that, for example, Bolzan city is also named Bolzano in Italian and Bulsan or Balsan in Latin. Bolzan is the capital city of South Tyrol. It's a charming blend of Italian and Austrian influences. In its medieval architecture, colorful buildings and lively markets, the city has a unique charm. If you travel to South Tyrol, I recommend you buy a mobile card. This is a special ticket for tourists, which covers almost all means of transport in South Tyrol. With this ticket, you can even go to Trent city. Trento, that's the Italian name of the city, is the most Italian city in South Tyrol. 93% of the population speak Italian, which controverts to the rest of mainly German-speaking South Tyrol. Enjoy the Italian mood, visit the city's iconic castle. City is really worth visiting. Except regular railway connections. With the mobile card you can ride a cable car, Ritnor Seilbahn. It starts in Bozen, not far from the railway station. Ritnor Seilbahn shows amazing views on the city and mountains around. The way on the top takes 12 minutes, which is probably the longest cable car I ever ride. I have a separate video with a full ride on this cable car if you are interested.
The station on the top over Botsen is 1220 meters above the sea level. Right near the station there is another transport that is also covered by the mobile card. Britner Bahn is a historic mountain tram. Short 16 minute ride from Oberbotzen to Klobenstein is worth your time, as you are riding a tram which operates here since 1907. Oberbotzen is a nice cozy town with many hotels for tourists. Architecture here is in a very Austrian style. There are a lot of points of interest around Oberbotzen. Check the timetable of the tram. Sometimes it goes to Maria Himmelfahrt, with an old church nearby. Another option is to reach this point by foot, it's not far. Also here you can enjoy the great view on the Dolomite Mountains.
Another sightseeing point nearby is the Earth Pyramids. The Earth Pyramids in South Tyrol are special natural phenomenon that comes about in particular terrain, usually after a landslide or an unhining of the Earth. There are a few points where you can see this natural wonder. One not far from Maria Himmelfahrt, another one not far from Klobenstein. Worth visiting. And now we move to Brixen city, where Brixen Dom is located. I have never seen such an amazing cathedral. This is a great example of how beautiful the mixture of Italian and Austrian culture is. Far from Brixen is the famous Novacella Abbey. I highly recommend you visit the Abbey's Museum, a treasure trove of art and history. Another point that is worth visiting is Karerze, a stunning lake surrounded by mountain peaks. I have visited this place a few times, and I have to say it looks very different depending on the season of the year and weather. You can reach this lake with a direct bus number 180 from Botsen bus station. The bus route is covered by a mobile card.
With the same bus 180, you can reach the village Vigo de Fassa. This village is not famous among tourists, but for me it was very important to visit it, because it is the soul of Latin culture. Latin language is the third official language of South Tyrol. And in some areas, 94% of inhabitants use it as their native language. Specifically in Vigo di Fassa, with less than 1,000 inhabitants, 86% of people use Latin as their native language. I recommend you to explore the museum Latin de Fassia, a repository of Latin traditions and folklore. I decided to visit one more small village in South Tyrol. Vilpian is located in a typical wine producing area. From here I used the Vilpian Zeilbahn, which is also covered by a mobile card, capturing breathtaking panoramic views. Also here you can visit the Vilpian waterfall. Very nice place, which is not crowded by tourists, and where you can enjoy nature and the countryside. Compared to known crowded villages, Merano city is very famous tourist point of South Tyrol. Many people arrive here to enjoy the thermal waters, but there are a lot of other interesting points to visit. Tyrol castle atop the hill stands as a silent witness to centuries gone by. Cable cars here are not covered by a mobile car, so you have to pay the full ticket price. Also. There was a queue to use it in both ways, so reserve some time for waiting. Yes, a great place with great views, very popular among tourists, so it was a bit crowded.
Surprisingly, the South Tyrol ticket mobile card covers one bus line that goes outside of Italy. So you have a chance to visit a small near the border village in Switzerland. Swiss Mustar, I will never pronounce it correctly, sorry to locals, is a province and calm village. Yes, of course, prices are higher than in Italy, but it's not that expensive than in the rest of Switzerland. Kloster St. Johann Mustar, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it's worth your visit. And it's free. From the echoes of history to the whispers of nature, South Tyrol has left an incredible mark on my heart. That's why I return here again and again. I invite you to enjoy my next adventure. Stay tuned for the upcoming video where we travel together on the Bermina railway line in Switzerland. Enjoy with me! Subscribe, like, share.